Okay, 1031 exchange, it has to be the same real property, the same price. Cash is not involved. No, but the 1031 exchange is uh, uh, another way of deferring taxes. Sometimes they don't go through successfully because the lack of inventory, mm -hmm. being able to find a property in the within the time frame, the time constraints mm -hmm. of the 1031 exchange. So consequently, uh, these could fail, and if they fail, escrow could use, you know, help the seller sell their property and uh, avoid capital gains through a deferment situation, mm -hmm. monetized uh, deferral. So there's different ways of doing this, okay? And I'm just starting to scratch the surface myself. So there are a lot of wonderful ways to help our people. Also, the seller could be a seller of a house, a primary, it could be rentals, it could be apartments, commercial buildings, retail. It could mm -hmm. be a collection of gold and gold coins. It could be a coin collection. It could be an auto collection. It could be uh, a lot of different things. Businesses that have started small and are now big and are ready mm -hmm. to sell are subject to capital gains. Uh, businesses, there's a lot out there. There's a lot of opportunities for us out there. We just have to learn their language and be able to uh, create uh, a connection to introduce this concept to them. Um, so th this, is a, this is a tool. It's not the only tool, but it is one of the uh, tools to attract business. This is very interesting, but <clears throat> could you explain one more time? For example, if I hire people, this is team, and how does it work? Okay. I'm getting 1.5% of the sales price. If you, you, yeah. Okay, so the, uh, the person, let's say this is the person that, uh, this is you. Mm -hmm. Okay, you. Um, no, let's don't do that. Let's say this is you up here, and you're the team leader. Okay, you've hired four people. Okay, you hired them. Uh, you hired one. This guy turned around and recruited these three. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, if you do a transaction, you're going to get one and a half percent. Okay. From sales price. From the sales price. Sales price. SP. Okay, mm -hmm. if one of your teammates does one, so let's say this guy that you hired does a sell, he's gonna get a point and a half because he's the direct introducer. But because you introduced him to the system, mm -hmm. you're gonna get a quarter point right up front. I would get a quarter point also, Cliff. And Linda would because she's directly over me and Bruce is over her and Bruce is connected with the company directly mm -hmm. okay so you sell something you get a point and a half I get a quarter Linda gets a quarter and Bruce gets a quarter if your guy sells you get a quarter he gets a point and a half because he made the direct introduction. You get a quarter, I get a quarter, Linda and Bruce. Mm -hmm. Goes four, four deep, okay? So now if if this guy who, you know, uh, is a producer and he went out and hired a couple more guys, let's just say this guy did something. He gets a point and a half, okay? This guy gets a quarter, this guy gets a quarter, this guy gets a quarter and you get a quarter, okay? Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. That's how it works. Mm -hmm. Pretty pretty simple. And they, these people work just on com commission on the fee. There's no Exactly. It's all straight commission. You straight don't commission. you're not you're not paying them anything. Mm -hmm. 